All right, bro, coming at you live through the power of the internet. Uh, no, we shouldn't use that one. Coming at you live once again, Dude, Chris the power of the internet. and Nick doing it. Here we are. Bro, what do you think about this uh, Ava Tyson situation? Yeah, this is the first I'm hearing about it today, so. Crazy, crazy. Mr. Beast's best friend, the guy who he started it all with. You know, I mean, he, he's basically a one man show in a sense. But the first person he brought along on that train of Mr. Beast was Chris Tyson, formerly Chris Tyson, now Ava Tyson. Um, and then they got caught getting uh, explicit messages with some minors. A lot of, pe a lot of pedophilia uh, and accusations of pedophilia yeah. as, of, as of late. Anyway, let's hop into it, see what he has to say about it, and then we'll, we'll give our reactions as always. Yesterday, Ava Chris Tyson of the Mr. Beast crew had a ton of evidence surface about horrible behavior with how they communicated with minors as well as a past of really disgusting shit. A lot of people are calling the season 7 writers of 2024 internet drama lazy because they're reusing a similar plot line. A lot of people drew comparisons to Dr. Disrespect recently being outed for talking inappropriately to a minor. We did a reaction on Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah. There are tons of screenshots to showcase exactly what was being said to someone who was between 13 and 14 years old at the time, and it's fucking gross. It's completely unacceptable. Some of them were just public tweets right under everyone's nose. So, Ava Tyson was an adult at this point, Lava was a child. And saying things like, I posted some fire nudes for you, please no share, and then other shit like, but not five dollars pathetic JK kissy face, they seem to communicate a lot, even sending Snapchats. So here's one that says coming for America and then goes on to talk about being in a group chat and everything. And I've seen a lot of people try and cope and deflect saying like, oh, it's just edgy jokes. People are blowing this out of proportion. What a bunch of fucking nonsense. That's a, that's a load of hooey. That's dirty barnacles. That, that's ridiculous. Under no circumstances should an adult be communicating with a child in any inappropriate manner whatsoever. Edgy jokes between an adult and a child are still fucking gross. It's not like the slam dunk defense that some people seem to think it is. Under no circumstances should an adult be in a group chat with a bunch of children sending coming for America pictures. Like, that's still bad. That's still horrible. That's still really fucking weird. From what I can tell, most of the screenshots and a lot of the compiled evidence comes from this YouTuber, Prism42. This seems to be... Just to touch base on that point really quickly, I feel like in your situation when you have a brother who's younger than you, yeah. eventually, and what's the age difference there? Two or three years? Yeah, like two years. When at some point, eventually, in every case like this, um, you're going to hit the age of 18, and then they're still going to be 16 or 15, whatever the case may be. So at some point, you'll always you're gonna get to that point where you're technically an adult and they're technically a child. Yeah. But I don't think that you change your relationship with them just because Not your really. birthday hit. Like, if you were 17 and they were 15 and you were saying a bunch of gross shit and being an absolute degenerate and then you turn 18 and they turn 16, I don't think like something automatically switches in your head and you're like, oh, now it's like illegal to do this. And same goes like with their friends too. Like if you're, fr you're friends with their friends and you're all in a group chat together, I don't think all of a sudden you, you know, maybe you should moderate yourself more, but people just don't. No, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. But you know, when you're like 30 or like 25, you wouldn't get in a group chat with like a 10 year old. No, but I, my, the reason why I brought that up is because I think when this stuff happened, Lava was like 13 and I want to say Chris was like 20. I I just found out the other That's day that Mr weird. I just found out the other day that Mr Beast is um is younger than us, which is pretty Oh really? Depressing. <laughs> when when did he start or how old is he, I mean? He's 26 or he just turned 26, so yeah. He's like well, you yeah, know. I just turned 26. 27. Yeah, so he's a year younger than oh, you and yeah. he's like 6 months younger than me. Eight, eight months younger than me, something like that. Damn. So, um, so yeah, I, I think it was kind of like it's one of those types of situations. I don't think he tried like anything sexual. I think he just made like edgy jokes, just to where most of it context. started. And since this video dropped, there's been a lot more screenshots that have come out with 
all kinds of really bad things that were being said to or about minors. I've only shown a couple here, but there's quite a bit more, and they're all just as bad, if not worse. Like, for some reason, Ava Tyson had a habit of calling a 13 or 14 year old daddy. Like, you can't just write that off as being like quirky, inappropriate, edgy jokes that people are blowing out of proportion. That's unacceptable. It's indefensible. Now, the 13, 14 year old in question for a lot of these messages is someone that has. I respect the hustle. I just, I just don't like the, like the fake like outrage. You know, I, I, I don't like it if it's on CNN. I don't like if it if it's on YouTube. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you mean to be honest. Like the fake, like like his fake like outrage. You know. Like that he doesn't actually care. Like what do you mean? Or no, I mean obviously he cares. It's just I don't think he cares to this ex extent where it's like boiling his blood. Oh yeah, he, yeah. This is like yeah. An, this is like an act for like the camera. I just no, no, a hundred percent. I just I can never. I, that's like that's pretty much all politics and social media. You could argue like okay, a he wouldn't get the same amount of views if he just did it, you know, straightforward. But I think there's like a happy medium. I think we try to hit on most days a happy medium between no well, having no emotion and showing like some emotion yeah but i i do agree that like i feel like he has to do this for views like i don't i don't know if there's a happy medium that would also create views it is fucking disgusting yeah. how how could a 19 year old text a 13 year old just just, just like just, this is probably the happy medium and calling him daddy what like i know he's i know he thinks it's gross but just nobody walks around like that. Yeah, <laughs> That's not a personality. True. Unless you're a, a woke blue haired girl from Bryn Mawr College. That's true. <laughs> Has come forward to give their own accounts of the situation. And according to them, they don't believe that they were groomed or anything bad was done on the Case part closed. of Ava Tyson or anything like that. And I'll just go ahead and give my take on it here. I talked about it on stream. And I'm not trying to be some kind of armchair psychologist because I'm just, at the end of the day, a little reptile brain idiot. But I really do feel like in a situation like this, it's very difficult to process just how inappropriate or unacceptable something was when you lived it. I imagine that it's very difficult to view this as the person that you communicated to so closely for so long was actually... Also, if you preface your sentence by saying, I'm not trying to X, Y, Z, then you basically carte blanche get to do anything you want. That's true. Have you noticed that? I have. <laughs> if you say, guys, listen, I'm not trying to talk for black people here, but let me talk about black people for a second. You basically get to say whatever you want. So as long as you have that little subclause at the front and you preface it with that, I don't want to be an armchair psychologist here, but this guy's got fucking dementia, you know? You can basically yeah. say or whatever if you, you say want. But you can literally say whatever you want. Or, um,. Yeah, or don't take this out of context. Yeah. <laughs> Just a joke. Be evil or doing things that were wrong. But in reality, no child should have this kind of relationship with an adult where you're joking about sending nudes to a minor or making edgy jokes about coming for America. So while the person here might not feel like a victim, it really is completely unacceptable that Ava Tyson would be communicating with them like this. It really is, no matter how it's spun. Now, it is important to mention that right now, most of the evidence is screenshots, so I guess there is the chance that some could be faked, but some of them seem very hard to fake. Like, there's a video going through a Snapchat conversation with Ava. Uh, there's also... Oh shit, they found the group chat. <laughs> I think that, I think we pretty much got the gist of it. Yeah, I mean they're just very like um I don't know. I don't know why all these people can't just be a mentor to somebody. Why it's got to turn sexual like not all the time. But at least 50-50, it feels like it turns inappropriate or sexual. But I feel like still, there's still mentors and there's still, like, big brothers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, today. But, dude, if this, yeah. keep, if this keeps up in a couple of, you know... No, there always will be. It just, it it's just, gonna get it's gonna get phased out. When it's, like, off hours, like, you don't... Like, that's very weird to communicate, you know? 
Like if you text, like if you always do Big Brother at four o'clock, but then at like ten o'clock on a Saturday you hit them up, that's fucking weird. So you can't rape someone at four or five, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, but I'm saying like the it's like it's I think they got a routine. Like people are around. Like there's a lot of checks and balances during their hours and stuff like that. Like no, who the fuck's getting raped at like in the middle of a Big Brother? They're getting raped by the Big Brother after the program ends. No, but my understanding is that those things are like independent outings. Like your big brother takes you to the mall or your big brother takes you to the... It's not like at the YMCA. And by the way, it could still fucking happen. I mean, look at the fucking Catholic Church. Like they can just take you into a back room and, you know, whatever. But y you're right is that it's better that way. But my understanding of the that program was that it was always like they took you to a mall or they took you to like a like a fair or something and you guys had like a day at the fair and you pretended to be their guardian their big brother for the day whatever the case may be i think it was a i think it was a really good and i think everybody who was a part of the original intent were all upstanding human beings and like fucking better more charitable people than probably you or i but yeah i just think the current climate just doesn't allow for that kind of thing anymore unfortunately um you know, I mean, I used to work at, like, housing authorities, like, after-school programs. Like, that's kind of the same thing as Big Brother. Yeah. Like, we did some outings sometimes, but that's the thing. Like, it was very set in stone, like, when we would do the outings, and when we would go there, we go to the community center, like, tutor them or play games or whatever. But were you older than 18? Oh, yeah. This is oh. college, yeah. So you're essentially pedophile adjacent, then? <laughs> no, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like You're pedophile was, adjacent. No, there was like a lot you of us. You knew them, but we were, you weren't one of them. <laughs> no, there was a lot of us, and we were all doing the same thing in, in the same place, like going to the same area. And any accusations while no. you were there? So it's like when people, when bad things happen, it's like when they like form a relationship but then hit them up like on this Saturday <clears> night <throat> or like on Friday night or something like that. Like nothing happens during the actual program. Yeah, but my dad, like I was just explaining, like he's had people like that who on, like you just said, after hours and stuff, you know, they still did outings and stuff like that. And it was all just for the sake of being friends and like, you know, like, I never heard you're that. an older friend, I'm a younger friend, like, you know, let's go smoke weed together. <laughs> it was really, it wasn't meant to be anything like that. But obviously, like I just said, now that's completely, completely been made to be inappropriate and like... You can't do that, or you'll have your whole fucking life taken away. And obviously, he did more than just communicate. He he took it to a, a risque place that you're not supposed to take it to. Yeah. But I don't think that he actually had sex with anybody. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. The accusations just seem. To I should be say. I should say she. I, really I should say she. But that was the. That was one of the things too. Is that um, they recently come out as transgender. Yeah, and so, so it was it was Chris Tyson, so now it was Ava Tyson, and um, so I you know I probably, you know for the for the mis the uh, the pronouns are changed around, but this makes me this reminds me of a Family Guy bit. Excuse me, ma'am, no porn at the bar. Oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. Oh, I I had no idea. Do whatever you want all the time. <laughs> That's pretty cool that it it's links so to funny. I, I love that scene. So, given that context, how was this even punished? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. 